Now we're all familiar with the Quad grouping, who share a common objective of a free and open Indo-Pacific. But now there's a new West Asian Quad that has been established. It's called the I2U2. It comprises of four nations, that's India, Israel, United States and UAE. And the first summit of the new grouping of four nations, it will take place next month during US President Joe Biden's in-person visit to Israel. Biden will hold the virtual summit with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, UAE President Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The focus of the meet will be on food security crisis and other areas of cooperation across the hemisphere, especially where UAE and Israel serve as innovation hubs. The virtual meet will also outline Israel's increasing integration into the region. In 2021, the four nations decided to launch this new grouping, sometimes referred to as the West Asian Quad. The creation of this squad is seen as one of the key dividends of the Abraham Accords that saw the normalization of ties between Israel and the UAE. So far, this new grouping called the I2U2 has met only a foreign minister's level at foreign minister's level. The first meet took place during India's external affairs minister Dr. S. J. Shankar's visit to Israel in October last year. Now, during that time, the foreign ministers of all four nations discussed focus areas, which were trade, climate, maritime security, and also explored possibilities of joint infrastructure projects in transportation and technology. The summit level meet of West Asian Quad comes at a time when the Quad between US, India, Japan, and Australia have increased their engagement. Last month, Quad met for the second time in person in Tokyo. And for more on this, we're now being joined by principal diplomatic correspondent Siddhant Sibyl from New Delhi. Thank you so much for joining us, Siddhant. Can you tell us about this first meet and the agenda of this particular grouping? Well, uh, one of the key agenda of uh, this meeting uh, that will take place, the virtual meeting that will take place, uh, will be on food security. That is what uh, the U.S. Uh, administration officials have pointed out. Food security remains a key issue, given how the Russian invasion of Ukraine has caused a lot of problems in terms of supply chain and in terms of wheat exports, especially from Ukraine. So this is something that is expected to be uh, dominate the agenda. But I to you to is something that has upgraded itself in a pretty short period of time. Uh, in October of last year, we know that Indian External Affairs Minister was in Israel and there the foreign ministers meeting took place uh, virtually mm -hmm. and of course in uh, in present uh, the Indian foreign minister and the Israeli foreign minister were present in person while the American and the UAE foreign ministers were present virtually. Now, they were of course uh, going to meet very soon especially in Dubai, all the foreign ministers, but that could not happen because of uh, the geopolitical developments we have seen in the mm. last few months. And now, of course, uh, a significant upgrade with all the leaders going to meet uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, the visit of the U.S. president to Israel and, of course, um, the Indian uh, prime minister, the UAE leadership uh, uh, present in terms of uh, their virtual presence there. So, all in all, a rise of a new quad at a time when we know that there is already a quad, that's the Indo-Pacific quad involving India, right. Australia, Japan and US. And now uh, this quad, and this is a outcome of the Abraham Accords, the normalization of relationship between Israel and UAE. Right, absolutely, Sidhans. In fact, I was just going to come to that. Apart from food security, what is the main aim of this grouping and what sort of cooperation can we expect going forward among the member states? While the Indo-Pacific war is seen as a grouping of countries who, of course, are facing a single problem, the problem of increased aggressive Chinese behavior, whether it's India, the line of actual control, whether it's Japan and the Senkaku Islands, whether it's Australia in terms of trade and US and China relationship, everyone knows is not in a positive trajectory. This squad uh, has a different uh, approach. While many have been saying, while this squad is uh, anti-Iran, it is not possible given that India has strong relationship uh, with Iran and UAE, of course, uh, is a neighbor of uh, Iran, a maritime neighbor, uh, neighbor, of course. Uh, so this squad's focus is on innovation, uh, on uh, supply chains. In fact, uh, just uh, just few hours ago, the State mm. Department did a briefing in which question was asked about the real purpose of this uh, uh, of this uh, quad, the West Asian quad, in which the State Department spokesperson talked about how Israel and UAE are innovation hub. Right, absolutely. Well, Sidhan, thank you so much for joining us with all the updates on this.
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.